Hey guys, welcome to the studio. I'm Samantha and today we're going to be doing a no tan design and this is my example. I was first introduced to this in college um, by one of my favorite professors. She was my painting professor, Miss Lyndon No, and she was an amazing teacher and I was lucky to have her, but she introduced us to this design concept and it's a lot of fun. Um, it helps you to work with balance and contrast and space and so today um, I'll show you how to do this and we'll learn a little bit more about those things. So hope you have fun and here's how to get started. Okay, so these are the supplies you'll need for today. You'll need a pencil, some white paper. I've got black squares that are pre-cut. These are three inch by three inch squares, some glue and some scissors. And so the reason we are going with black and white paper today is because we're doing the no tan design. And it is all about contrast and balance. And so black and white can kind of help us achieve that. Um, no tan is the Japanese art or design method that experiments with the placement of lights and darks. And so that's how we get our contrast because we have white, which is the ultimate light and black, which is the ultimate dark. So we have the contrast there. And then you as an artist get to choose um, what type of balance you'll create. You could do symmetrical balance or asymmetrical balance in your design. Um, another thing that you're going to consider when you start drawing your design in just a minute is your use of space. And space is an element of art and it deals with the areas around, inside, between shapes, forms, and objects within a work of art. And so you can see right here, positive and negative space. We have the same tree, and right here the black is the positive space, and in this one the black is, becomes the negative space. And so as you draw out your no tan design, you want to consider your use of space and your balance of space as you work. And so now I will start um, drawing out my square, which I've actually pre-drawn mine. It's hard to see the pencil lines, so what I'm going to do is go over it with white colored pencils so you can kind of see um, how the drawing process works. One thing to consider when you get started is each of my shapes or designs, they come in from the side because what will happen in a little while is we will cut this with scissors and we will flip it out. And so we need to have it come out from the edge so it will meet up with itself when we flip it out. And so... Now I'm just going to go over these designs so you can see the design that I've drawn for my no tan square. Okay, so now that I've completed drawing my designs onto the black square, I'm ready to begin cutting and gluing. And before you start gluing down, you can consider, you can turn um, your no tan square, you could center it in the middle of your page like a square, or you could turn it like a diamond. Um, I'm going to, I think, go with the diamond direction, and I'm going to start here by cutting out my first shape. And this is the tedious part. It will take some time. And some people will cut out all shapes and then glue them down, but for me that tends to get confusing. So I'm going to cut out one shape and apply the glue and glue it down, and then I'll cut out my next shape. So there's my first shape and I said I was going to turn it like a diamond so I'm going to line it up exactly where I will glue the square later and we are going to take the glue and apply a couple of drops to the back of our little shape and you could have a q-tip and spread your glue out and make it really nice and so now I'm going to take this and I'm going to flip it and line it up where it creates the exact mirror image. And so going forward, I will have to make sure that each time before I glue a shape, I lay, lay my square back down and line it up so that each shape is glued in the correct place. And so now I will continue with that process.
here's my finished no tan square and you can see I glued down the middle after I glued down all my shapes and I lined everything up just like I should have. It has a nice balance of lights and darks. Um, it's somewhat symmetrical, but a little asymmetrical too, because I've got longer shapes that come out here. But overall, um, I think it turned out really good, and I'm happy with the finished product. So I hope you had fun creating your no tan square design. I would love to see how creative you got, so please share the results from yours below. And find me on social media, Samantha Wood Art. Thanks so much.